Hey everybody, I am McD and it's time for another daily challenge. So going in, uh, we've been getting hotter and hotter as we've been progressing. We're going to go with Mr. Uh, Viking here, Mr. Olaf, if you will. I love that G-string that he's got working, going down that rope. Um, and starting off on Mines 1-1, one, one, we're going to start destroying everything on our path. We're going to start, you know, flipping stuff off and, and suplexing stuff and, and putting shit in the Anaconda Vice. It's going to be... It's going to be a hardcore day in the Spelunky Daily Challenge. I'm debating on actually doing back-to-back -back, um, because this is, um, we're getting into like the final like hour, hour and a half before the next Daily Challenge is up and running. So I'm thinking of maybe just doing both and getting them both out of the way. Um, consider this one my warm-up run, I guess, if you will. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see once we get to the end of this run. Maybe I do so poor that I should just quit while I'm ahead. Get a good night's sleep, warm up in the morning before I do a full day of recording. Uh, some new goodies along with the daily challenge. So I'm not thinking that 2,000 gold is going to be really worth uh, any bombs or ropes. And I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that one. There's a little cavern over there. I'm not sure if I can reach it. Um, but we'll explore just a bit more. That's a live bomb, so we're going to get away from that. Please don't hit me with that. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I'm glad that I kind of dodged it. That uh, chest kind of blew back in my face. So, let's drop our dog off. And we'll just drop that down there. We'll remember to come back for that, since it'll be at the exit. Let's open this crate. More ropes. So we're already rich in ropes. Um, I don't feel like going over there we've already broke almost 20,000 on the first floor and I don't want to waste the bomb right now um, we've got more than enough ropes to give away but let's just keep moving uh, we've got a nice tempo and uh, I don't want to mess it up so we've got the key which means the Ujat eye is available I don't know how okay so that fall isn't too serious the chest is right below it it looks like we're gonna need to bomb to get in there um, it looks like we could use three bombs in this situation because there's a crate over on the other side plus there's a spider. Uh, I'm not sure how all of that is going to work out. Let's sit and analyze that in just a moment. I don't want to anger that spider just yet. I don't even know if I can get... Oh, oh yes I could. I could. Uh, if I can make this jump, I can't. Let's just throw a rope. Head over here. I would like to see what's in that crate. Hopefully more bombs, which would be nice. We're going to wait for this uh, bat over here and just slap him in the face. <sighs> Something that I really didn't want, but let's toss a bomb right here. Hopefully it'll take out that spider. I don't think it will. Oh, it did. I got kind of lucky on uh, that right there. So collect this little money. Pick up this rock just in case we have to set off another arrow trap. I think there's one over here. There is. We'll just set it off and grab another rock for our troubles. Take a peek over here. I heard Chip. I don't think he's up there. I think he's down lower. So, let's hit this bat. Slap you in the face. Skeleton gonna bone me? No, he is not. We're gonna buy the cape. We're gonna buy the spike shoes. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna buy the spring shoes. And why not? Let's just get the spectacles. Because I've been running into uh, dark levels more and more frequently, uh, if my memory serves me correctly. I don't see an altar, so we're going to just, yeah, we're just going to take Chip to the exit, cash in on that uh, little bit of extra life, um, hover over here, grab this. I did have a decent bankroll, but I bought, I cleaned out the shopkeeper. I'm just taking the extra precaution. The, the, the sunglasses are only like 3000 4000 bucks at this point, so why not? Let's just be as precautious as we can. Uh, and we got the cape, which is nice. Uh, I would rather have a jetpack. I'm pretty sure everybody would. I don't like this situation. As you may know, me throwing rocks at these things don't really work out that well. That was a poor throw. So was that. Let's do this. Oh, man. You're gonna watch me fail on doing this stuff. There we go. Ah, uh, I knew it! I knew- I called it. Knew it was gonna happen. Good thing we have so much extra health. And by so much, I mean just a little bit. Um, oh, we got a little bit of frame lag here, so I do apologize if you notice that. Um, we're going to take our dog. I really don't feel like using a bomb on this spider, so let's coax him out. Let's jump on him and we will collect 
what money he has to offer us. Maybe we can get one of those bomb boxes. I don't think we'll have enough, but it's worth a shot. Drop you off real quick. A little bit more money. Come here, pooch. Alright, let's have you heading this way. Bunch of spiders. Let's get a bomb box. We desperately need one. I would like to come back and get the other one if I can get enough money. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, that was very close and very stupid on my part. And I don't want to set you free yet. Because odds are you're going to do something boneheaded and walk on one of those spikes. This is a precarious situation that we have found ourselves in. We're going to let you go this way. And let you find yourself into that little crevice over there. What do we got going on down here? I don't know. But I think it's worth taking a peek. Just to see if we can get more money to potentially get another bomb box. I might even just spend a bomb right here to get to that chest and all those gems. Let's go ahead. And I think that might put us in range for the bomb box, which is great. Actually, I think that might be enough. Let's just spend a rope to get up there. I've never seen that really happen before. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, we do have just enough. Um, if we don't make a lot of money in the next couple rooms, uh, or floors, I should say. We are going to be killing some shopkeepers. Um, we're going to drop you off. Hell, I could just start killing shopkeepers right now and ghost that. That seems like a very easy place to ghost, just to head right to the exit after. But, let's not concern ourselves with that. Let's take this pot with us and head into, what is it, the uh, fourth floor? Yes, or the fourth portion of the caves. I'm going to stomp on this dude's head. And thank you, whatever was over there, to set that off. Stomp on that guy's head. And we'll drop this pot set off the hero trap. We got our damsel. Um, that was not wise. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe more bombs? Nope, more ropes. We've been going crazy with the ropes in here lately, so let's peek down. Nothing of interest yet, I should say. We've got a lot of bombs at this point. I would prefer even more, um, and I'm pretty sure everybody would, but, oh, there we go. Let's get this. We're going to set you down right here. Let's set off this arrow trap, okay, and collect this money, grab our damsel, and keep heading further down. I would really like to come across an altar at this point, because um, I feel like I'm doing pretty good on health, and I'm just going to sacrifice it when and if I get to the ice caves uh, when we uh, sacrifice ourselves to the statue so let's run past him stop on you lots of enemies uh, abound on this board and we got a shopkeeper who's probably gonna tempt me with more stuff no nope, not this time I can hold off uh, I don't need the shotgun and I certainly don't want anything else down there um, as uh, in regards to not getting the shotgun, so let's, wow, I don't know how I got past all of that. We have the Matic, and we are going to farm quite a bit of money if we can. Let's just drop this lady off, kill the spider, get him out of the way. Um, yeah, we're going to try to farm those two or three rubies that I saw up there, just to kind of get more of a bankroll going here. Okay, nice. And since we just picked up the Matic, I'm fairly certain that we can pretty much hold on to it until we get to the portion, uh, or the black market, I should say. Sorry about that. Um, that emerald's not really worth it. I believe that's the weakest of the gems that you can get. And by weakest, I mean just the, um, the least valuable. I'm going to take a sip real quick. All right. At about 20,000. And we got a dead or restless level, which spells big things for us. Like, here is the shotgun. I will take it out just in case. I'm not positive on if I'm going to end up using it uh, or taking it with us. I might just hold on to the Matic at this point. But we've already found um, this, the idol, which is a good chunk of money. We have bees. And I'm thinking, why not get the extra health by just kind of bottlenecking these guys out of here? Um you know, without um, grabbing onto a ledge. Oh, that did not work out so well. But there's our damsel. 
I would really kill for some climbing gloves right now. I want this big bee to come over here. And I want to stomp on you. Uh, of course, there is a piranha down there. Get the royal jelly. So now we've got quite a bit more health. Um, next thing I want to find is the altar, if there is one. Uh, I'm not certain if there is always going to be one on a dead or restless. So let's, let's set our mattock right here. Let's get our damsel. Let's explore the remainder of the level. Hopefully there will be an altar somewhere around here. It doesn't appear to be so. Um, oh, zombie, what are you doing swimming? <laughs> um, we'll use a rope just to kind of get another look up here. No, I'm not seeing anything. So let's go ahead and drop this uh, lady off at the exit. Yeah, we're going to get quite a bit of money as long as we work fast. Let's get our mattock and we're going to head over to that crate that we just passed. Um, and then we'll farm a couple more uh, jewels. Okay, let's set this down. Hit this. More bombs. Nice. Let's... I want to see how I'm going to do this. Yes, I want to farm just a couple more gems. And then we're going to get the idol, and we are going to hightail it out of here. So let's drop off the mattock. Make our way back up to the altar. I think we can go this way. Yes, we can. I'm almost fairly certain we can. Um, Actually, I'll blow a hole right here um, just to get to that crown, which is 5,000 gold. And that ruby. A little bit more bankroll. Use one more rope to get right here. We've got a ghost. So now we have to move very fast because there's going to be another ghost coming right now. Let's drop down, drop down. Head to the exit. And we're going to be fine. Grab our Matic and truck on out of here. 62k. Um, so we've got enough for the Ankh. I would like uh, maybe another 20k just to get another Dead or Restless level. Um, I would like to get another like around 20k. Just to stock up on some more bombs. Maybe trade up for a jet pack. Let's see what's right here. More bombs. Only adding to the, um, the stock that we have. Okay... Uh, we are acquiring so many bombs at an alarming pace that I'm absolutely fine with using the Matic, um, not as sparingly this time around, and farming for some hard-earned gems. Let's look down here real quick. We've got a vampire, piranha, no damsel, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be another idol on this level. Which is a bonus. That's nice. Let's... Okay, let's hit over here. Okay, so here is our idol. Hit this. Let's take out this lady down here. And that spider that just happened to be there. The black market is on this level. That's some big news. Let's use a bomb to get down here. Probably should have placed it. No, that's fine. Um, I was thinking about placing it right over the vine, but not necessary. Um, black market was going off. I'm not sure where it is, though. Um, I'm going to have to use a rope to get out of here. I think it's going to be above us. So, let's hop up here and get over to this little nook. Hit a bomb. There's, remember, there's a piranha over here. Jump on this uh, vampire. Get you in that water. Because I don't want to mess with you. Oh, it's in there. It's it's in that um, uh, little pond up there. So let's... We're going to have to use another rope. Let's use it right here. We've already spent quite a bit of time on this level. So we gotta kinda act fast now. I'm pretty sure it's right here. I'd like to think it's right here. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake, I think. Blow that up. Oh man. This is not good. We are going to and the ghost is here, so now it comes down to us evading the ghost. Let's. Where are you? 
Let's take care of this dam, or let's just throw this damsel down here. And scope out here a little bit. We're gonna set a rope. Hit this. Hit this. Come over towards this exit. I'm not getting any Uja eye, so let's go back over here. Yeah, I'm not really getting much. And this ghost is going to be here any second. And I dropped our damsel right on some spikes. Oh, guys. I don't know. I might have to just kind of give up on the black market at this point. Hmm. That's a little sad. Let's hit this. Go over here. Where is it? It's going off. Oh no. Kind of cornered myself. Yup. Let's see if we can keep doing this. Um, I've proven lucky so far. We just kind of get got to get the ghost in a sensible area, a little bit more open. I would like you to come over here. This Matic is going to go very soon. I have a feeling it's going to crap out on me at the most unhelpful moment. Okay. Hover over here. Where is the black market? It's ticking, it's ticking, it's ticking, but it doesn't seem to get any stronger. And that, the Maddox's gone. Nothing right here. Okay, it's getting a little warmer right here. Let's throw a bomb. Oh, and there is a vampire. Yeah, I'm thinking it's up there. We might still be able to do this, but we're going to use quite a bit of bombs in this case. Okay, ghost, one more time, over here. I need you to focus on me. Over here, it's my, my viking butt. Come on. Come on, right here, right here. Oh, I got hung up on the rope. Didn't mean for that to happen. Okay. Is that vampire dead yet? I don't think he is. That's the black market. Let's get the idol and get out of here. Nice. We're almost at 100,000. We didn't die. <laughs> and we found the black market after going through most of the Matic usage and a good uh, amount of bombs. Let's take a peek over here. We've got a bomb frog. I hope he doesn't make anybody mad. He did not... Stomp on this frog. Stomp on this frog. This caveman, you're going away. We're going to get the on. Hopefully there's something good over here. We've got the compass. We've got the climbing gloves. No jetpack. But there is a bomb box. So, climbing gloves. Compass. Take one more look up here. Two of these shopkeepers have damsels, and I'm not psyched about that. Let's, let's take a chance. Friggin' gloves. Okay, so now it comes down to getting the bomb box. We've got pretty much no money left. We have the cape, though. That's a little bit of mobility. Now we just have to focus on getting far enough along where uh, we can sacrifice ourselves in the ice caves. Which would be terrific. Uh, I I did it last time. I would like to do it back to back. It would be great. I don't know why I took a bomb there. I guess I just, you know, I felt a little insecure about my money. <laughs> that I was just like, eh, yeah, let's get a ruby. Let's waste a bomb. Not That was not necessary. It was kind of uncalled for. So, now we can at least try to get a boomerang. That's a bunch of shit right there. Let's hover over. And, of course, there's a monkey. And he stuns me. And I'm going to whip him right in the face. Come here. Oh, damn it. Again. Well, at least I took out a couple of those guys. Eliminated some of that dangerous situation. Take out this other one if I can drop on him. Those climbing gloves tend to have me get stuck right there. Now we've got a boomerang. we got a little bit of uh, an attack. I really like a shotgun. But again, we're going to have to give up this item once we sacrifice ourselves. So now I'm hoping that we can at least find a couple altars. That would be ideal, because I need that Kapala, man. Okay, 
let's let's do this the right way okay get up there we go I'm worried about that a little bit we have an idol I hear our damsel not sure where though it is the dog right below us there is an altar up here and I will be more than happy to put a bomb right there and eliminate some of the threat um, we are going to hit a rope wait for this guy actually oh man I just sacrificed myself on the altar what happened was I took a hit from the snail it wasn't a one-hit KO but it did knock me down and I was unconscious now you don't have to sacrifice a dead body you can sacrifice a live body as you guys have seen me do quite a few times well when I got hit by the snail <laughs> um, he dropped me my body happened to just drop right on the altar and it sacrificed me uh, forsaking the uh, onk so we're not gonna be able to make it to hell on this run no matter what I hate monkeys um, but now you know what let's make a good thing happen out of the situation we're gonna get the Kapala right on this level just have to get back up there using another rope I could really blow it right now and I really don't want to there we go okay see you later dog Thank you for the Kapala. Wasn't really worth my trouble, but whatever. Let's get the idol to add a little bit of extra bankroll, because might as well try to get at least a good score, since we're not going to be getting to the battle with Yama. Let's get these spring shoes, since I already have them. Let's get this boomerang, because I would like a little bit of protection. What's up, Mr. Ghost? I'm out of here. Okay, I'm going to take another drink real quick. I'm sorry, a little parched. So now we're in the ice caves. And you know what? We will not be going to hell. So why not try to take the opportunity and show you guys an area that you haven't seen yet uh, on my daily challenge runs. Most of the time, on the fourth level of the ice caves, there is something that says at the beginning, it feels like the 4th of July. And what that means is there are tons and tons and tons of aliens, like this little guy hanging around. Um, that also means that there's a mothership. Oh, I don't want him to blow up that altar and piss off Kali. So let's let's go this way. Drop down here. Um, there's a mothership, and if you head to the mothership and you kill the main uh, boss in, in there, you will be able to get uh, a really cool gun. Um, it's pretty much a grenade launcher. I forgot the name of it. I'll have to look that up. I'm a little embarrassed that I forgot the name of it, but. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's see if we can find our damsel real quick. Let's try to collect a little bit of blood from this guy. Oh, that wasn't cool, because he almost woke up and threw me. I heard the damsel. Where are you? You're not the damsel. You're certainly not the damsel. You're a bumble. Get out of here, bumble. Man, I really want to take out this alien. And maybe I'll have a chance now. There we go. Um. Oh, that was close. That might have set off uh, the altar. We're just going to keep going. I was thinking about sacrificing some bodies, but I don't have the jetpack, so I can't keep climbing around, and I don't really have the time to do it either. Um, that might give us the... Oh, figures. We were, oh, we were so close to getting to the statue. Only like two levels away. Collecting blood here, filling up that Kapala so we can get more health. That is pretty much a, a necessity at this point. Since I'm not sacrificing myself on this stage, let's blow up this area for our damsel. Let's take a peek where the... Oh, man. You know what? Got a little bit more time this time. Let's go ahead and sacrifice some bodies. Maybe I can get that HP boost. That is always fun. Um, let's see here. Where... Okay, there's a bumble right there. I would like to get to that bumble man. Let's truck over here. That was a little risky. Not really necessary. Okay, stomped on him. And kind of made a little platform here that I can get back up to. And I think one or two more bodies might do it. So let's... Oh, I don't want this guy to throw me. I would like to drop on his face, though. 
Yeah! Give him the pile driver. Okay. Maybe one or two more. I'm pretty sh I'm fairly certain it's one or two more. It has to be. Um, as long as this man doesn't... Yeah, I was gonna say. Throw me. Or face palm me. Yep, I feel invigorated. Um, so that means I just got a bunch of health, as you can see up at the top left corner. And we're not gonna mess with anything else in this level. Let's just go ahead and truck along. And get to, what, stage three of the ice caves? I believe so. Setbacks aside, I still feel happy with how we've been doing on this run. It's a sign of good things to come if I so choose to keep going and doing the other daily challenge uh, in the next uh, little bit of time. Oh, I could get hit really badly right there. I could get frozen. Oh, okay. That was close. A little gutsy. That wasn't necessary, but I didn't want that woolly mammoth to take me out. Since we've got so much health, let's, okay, let's do this. This alien is kind of hovering over me. There's an idol. I would be fine with trying to obtain it. Um, this isn't good though. So let's let's see if we can platform to the right side here. Get up, get the damsel, and then get the idol. Just to pad our high score a bit. Come here, broad. You are my my trophy wench. You are coming with me. Okay. Idle, I will be back for you. I'll have a little bit of time for that. As long as this alien that's been lurking doesn't dick me over. We're gonna scale our uh, wall over here with our friggin' manly ass knuckles. We're gonna knuckles the echidna that wall. Oh, I kinda pat. I'm not even thinking what I'm doing right now. I want this. This is my next prize. We're gonna hover down here, put it in the exit, grab our boomerang, and off we go. We built up 75k pretty well. I think we were only at like three or 4,000 once we left the black market. So only a couple levels and we've done pretty well. It feels like the 4th of July. So that means that there will be a mothership on this level. Um, I'm going to remember where Chip is because I would like to go in with as much health as possible. We've got tons of bombs because this level can be pretty scary if you don't have um, the right setup. If you don't have uh, maneuverability like the jetpack or the cape or ropes. Um, if you don't have enough bombs to take out a lot of the tougher enemies, if you don't have pace to be able to like stick it to walls right underneath some of those tough enemies, you will see them. Um, let's, okay, I forgot we had the spring shoes. We can kind of get a little bit more of a vertical leap. We're going to toss a rope to get right here. We are going to toss, um, is there an enemy up here? No, there's not. So let's go ahead, drop our boomerang off because we are taking that with us. Absolutely, I want to be able to have some form of weapon when we get in there. Hover over here. I want to get Chip. Chip is next. I really don't want to spend another rope getting him, so let's keep platforming over here. Hopefully there's not an alien above me. There is. Oh, there is right here. Oh, we'll just ignore him. He wasn't close enough to make a difference. Um, hover over here. Uh, I don't want to walk on those spikes. That'd be bad. And truck our way back up here fist into the wall, dropping off chip, and let's go ahead and head into the other ship. So, this isn't 4-1. Um, this is actually a completely different board, and once you finish it, you have to go back to a new loadout of 3-4. So, it's a little extra work, but the effort, man, once you get the, um, that guy just kind of blew himself up, this big old dumb alien guy. Um, I don't know why. Or maybe it was something else that killed him. These little side beams, just like Anubis, are a royal pain. Um, oh man, this is getting, oh, this is getting hectic already. I would like to kind of just systematically take stuff out one by one, not have to worry about everything. Let's throw some, oh man, throw some, oh, that beam deflects bombs. It's getting chaotic, and I'm sorry that I can't really, um, you know, 100% focus my, my speech. Um, the main alien is trying to take it to me right now with uh, with that target crosshair. I keep hitting these juggling things. Let's go ahead and throw some bombs right here. Just kind of open this guy up a bit. Um, oh, and is there a ship? That's ship. kind of want to open this guy up just a little bit. So I have the opportunity to throw some bombs at him. Hope oh, that's not going to get the job done. That little minion alien kind of saved his back. 
But I think one bomb right there should do it. It did. He is taken out. I don't have to worry about him. Except for that side beam that was kind of coming. Yes, those are side beams. That's what I'm going to call that. That's an Alkazam-like move right there. This dude, you're going to see his fully evolved form in just a second. If I don't take it on the chin right here, <laughs> uh, I kind of want that boomerang. Oh, I kind of want that boomerang. Let's head back down. The ghost is going to be coming soon, I think, too. I think he can spawn on this board, despite there being a badass kind of boss. Um, this little alien dude kind of irritating me. Oh, and that bomb kind of shot up, too. How are we going to do this? First, first I want to take out that lasery thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Getting a little too close for comfort. Okay, okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let you take yourself out right here. Now, we're going to throw some bombs. He is right above us. We're going to uh, attack from uh, below. Just kind of got to... Kind of got it. Oh, his gun just dropped. His gun just dropped. And I will gladly take that gun. Um, I could just leave right now, but I'm absolutely fine with just trying to bomb him. He is an ugly motherfucker. He's a predator mother dude. Does one bomb kill him? No. Two should. The ghost is coming. Uh, okay, so Mr. Ghost, you are here. We've got this photon -y beam now that does this. Some cool stuff. Give us a little bit of extra incentive to take it to... Aw, oh, man, if you can bring it to the City of Gold, that is a coup. Um, we gotta get to that exit, and that ghost is kind of guarding our exit right now, so... This ghost is gonna really F up my day. Let's see if we can kind of get him over here. I don't want to mess with you, bro. So many jump pads in this level. Let's use another rope. I don't care, even though I should be conservative. Oh, he ghosted some gems for me. Thank you, guy. Let's head out. Now we're going to be back onto the ice caves. We've got to finish up 3-4. It is a new seated level, though. But we've got this badass motherfucker, this BFG thing right going on right here. So let's just head to the exit. Uh, we've got tons of health, and I don't feel like wasting any more bombs or anything, which I really shouldn't have to worry about so much because of the fact that we've got this thing. Let's... Yeah, we got the parachute. <laughs> So maybe that'll actually come in handy for once. Uh, let's go on down. We got 123,000 for our bankroll for our high score. We are heading into the uh, the temple. We, you hear prayers to Kali. I forgot what that kind of does. Um, I'll have to check that out later. Let's go ahead, take out Anubis just to spite the asshole. Even though that um, uh, we could get his scepter, but it's not going to do us any good. Um, because we popped the Ankh way too early. Um, whoa. Serious situation right there. Kinda dodged that rock monster by the skin of my teeth. I just want to keep going. I'm, I'm absolutely fine with just beating Olmec today. That's, that's fine. That's something we haven't done in a while, so. Um, oh, hey. Let's take you out. I don't want to see you again. Let's just keep heading for the exit. We haven't come across any alligator dudes that are going to friggin' telekill us. <laughs> Which has been kind of a running theme of the uh, couple daily challenges recently. So let's just blow a couple holes right here. Um, this rock dude I'm not too happy about. But let's go ahead and throw a bomb on him just to get him out of the way. Because we can't really hit him with this gun. He's going to squash me if I go that way. Let's blow up these tiki traps. Hopefully there's not another rock monster over here. There is a damsel, though. Um, lots of shenanigans going on. I would like to not be greedy, but I have to kind of be greedy. And I have to kind of try and get to... Oh, that mummy's going to walk off. Of course he is. Let's just keep heading on. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. If I got wild with that gun, shot myself back towards those uh, arrow traps and tiki trap. I, it probably would have been close to over, but we could try to get this one right here, this crate that I, I would like to obtain. A boomerang. No thanks. I wouldn't mind getting this, though. Hopefully, this bird guy doesn't want to take it to me right now. Bomb box. All right, cool. So we can speed up the Olmec fight uh, fairly quickly. Let's throw a bomb right there and take out those two things together fairly certain that it took off or took out 
that arrow trap. But just to be safe, let's throw it right there. It did. Let's go ahead. Uh, I kind of just want to use a bomb. Oh, man. Let's just use a bomb right here. Take that out of the equation. Some lava dudes are running free. Um, oh, man. Scorpion. Scorpion. Turn around. Okay, let's sacrifice you. Just to get you out of my hair. I could just use a bomb right now, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just to get down here a little bit quicker. This is probably so, uh, the most health that I've ever had on a run. Um, I, I Maybe I've gotten higher, but I don't recall it. And now we're taking on Olmec, man. That's that's our goal. We just got to finish off Olmec. And I would like to do it kind of quickly, but I wouldn't mind scoping out what's above. Maybe we could get a jetpack really quick. Uh, granted, I don't have too many ropes left, and I might need one just in case I get into a sticky situation. Um, I know I have... Oh, there's some ropes. I know I have uh, the climbing gloves, but again, you never know uh, if I need to use it for some apparent reason or not. Like, right now might be a good time to do that. Let's go ahead and shoot that one more time. Just wanted to... Yep, just wanted to get over there. That's exactly how I intended that to go. More spike shoes that we already have. Let's put you right here. More bombs. Okay. Let's... I'm saying let's pad up the high score, but this little photon beam, this photon beam is going to just spell immediate death for me if I don't play it safe. So let's just go ahead and drop it right here. I don't know if it works on Olmec. I don't think it does. I don't see why it would. We've got a web gun. And it's really not going to matter where we take out Olmec because of the fact that um we don't have the Necronomicon. That rock, I knew it was going to happen. Don't smush me. Oh, man, that was too close for comfort. Let's just blow holes over here. Hopefully, Olmec just kind of stays where he is, just chilling. Man, that was gutsy. My my run could have ended right there. Okay, throw a bomb right here. Throw a bomb right here. And we're just going to keep repeating the process. Rinse and repeat until we get this all taken care of make a big enough hole for Olmec to kind of jump down and we can call it a night on this run barring any done dumb moves that I can make we should be in a great position for a win here so let's see if we can take out a bunch right here we did let's throw another one right here another one right here okay let's throw a rope and we are going to climb on top of this dude and we'll ride off into the sunset let him spell certain doom for himself uh... no i want you to go this way i'm sorry i didn't mean to lose focus oh you gotta be shitting me he can go on that platform so now we gotta spend a couple more ropes let's go ahead con olmec over here this is not gonna be as fast as i was really planning on it being come on dude Okay, come on over here let me come here come on there we go come here yeah there you go yeah, okay cool now let's hover all the way back over here so he doesn't follow us we're gonna set off a couple more bombs um, bomb right here hop up bomb right here why not let's just create a little bit more room uh, we're not using any more bombs at this point so let's just go nuts why not um, bomb right here can't screw up this jump. Okay. Now, we're going to hop up right here. Bomb. Bomb. Cool. Okay. So let's get on top of Olmec here. And hopefully this will seal his fate. And he will plunge to the depths. And we can finish up Spelunky here. See you, my friend. Alright. So, head to the exit. Second time beating Spelunky for you guys, uh, which is awesome. Uh, it's not beating hell, but it's still a win in my books. Big old W for I am McD. So let's go ahead, get our uh, idol, our gigantic idol, and escape through the volcano. Gonna get hella money here. And the second time that the parachute has come in handy for me. So let's check out this final score.
217,000. Obviously not as good as my first time beating Splunky on camera. Um, but still, very good. We're going to check out the leaderboards and see how we stacked up. This is the end of the run, so it can be low. 157. So um, let's go ahead and check out the overalls real quick. That top 10, man. Ah, oh, jeez. Those scores are insane. So kudos to those guys. And, you know, kudos to me. I, I had a really good run, and maybe I'll go ahead and do back-to-back uh, -back and just record it uh, for the next daily challenge. It's going to be going live soon. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.